Hello YouTube, this is yet another update on my V-Gage and now the hardware is to 99.9% .9 perfect and let me show you I do have the frames now to cover the sides and uh, this is what I came up with this was exported from Eagle into Inkspace uh, Inkscape and then into OpenSCAD and then printed out on my Ender 3 3D printer courtesy of Banggood thank you Banggood for that I still need to do the review video for that and I just didn't get to it yet so this is the frame of course my super smart smartphone doesn't focus as I would like it to okay this was my first test and uh, you can see it's like uh, squares you can see the shadow after that I played with the settings and whatnot and uh, this is it now so you don't see any shadows the little shadows you see this is actually for my uh, LED light on the top anyhow <coughs> I always get it right throat I'm going crazy uh, I did have, have some help from my friend Karsten in Denmark. Thank you very much, Karsten. And he did basically do the cutouts needed for the HDMI plug, for the on-off switch, for the micro SD card slot, for the navigation switch, and the speaker outlet. And we did go through quite a few designs and changes and you can see what <laughs> that's all i have printed out those were the good ones so we did try to do it like this so i can screw it directly into the frame the pcbs but i just did not trust this you could maybe screw them once or twice and on the third time it's gonna not hold anymore and he did also nice touch with the text on the bottom V gauge I will have them with or without because I do actually like to make the V gauge stand on its bottom so and with that it's a little wobbly so I didn't want to take any risks and uh, changes we also had some uh, speaker holes like this but they're a little harder to print so I wanted it more normal so it will print we did also try this design to have it open so it won't have the thin pieces here but uh, didn't like this either so all those were discarded <coughs> excuse me and then I have no clue which one is the latest now because they all got messed up Anyhow, I did try 0.2 layer height, 0.1 layer height and ended up with 0.15 layer height. So I will still adjust those and I will have them in different colors. Right now that's all I have, the black, which goes nice with the black and with the red. And then I have this transparent which actually looks really nice you can see it on here and you can see the LEDs inside shining through and I do like that uh, let me tell you on the codes this is the GPS clock that you can have it has automatic daylight savings time changing I just need to know what your offset is and I can put it in the code and then it will be automatically adjusted 
and this is also another code that I have I tried to mimic the V gauge shape that's the best I could get it to uh, that's the exhaust gas temperature and that will be an option also it will be on the in the middle though because uh, it needs more connections and only the middle display has more connections these have just one analog and one digital input or output so anyhow that's the GPS code the clock and like I said this is the white one and then uh, I made the zombie green <laughs> so you can have a zombie big age uh, this is actually glow in the dark green and but you need like a very powerful light source to make this thing glow and it only glows a very short time but it does look nice anyhow so if I do get different colored ABS I might be able to make it in different colors I do have uh, silver but I didn't do it in silver yet so because I still want to adjust the sides a little bit more there are still some slight gaps uh, here on the switch for example on the left and right so I will adjust for that and there is also a gap here above the slide switch uh, I will adjust that also that is almost perfect so those are the small adjustments that I still will make so now the V-gauge is the sides are closed and I also wanted to I can show you this here uh, I do have also a audio sound meter and you can hook up a microphone module to the analog input which are somewhere on my table of course I cannot find it anyhow uh, and those that would be maybe for music fans and they can measure how loud it is in their cars when they turn up the music so that's my uh, tiny altimeter code and the altimeter the altitude works nicely when you drive like on the country roads where it goes up and down and you can see the height changing and that's kind of neat uh, I also wanted to say I wrote it down here uh, I do have another code and it's a GPS speed warner so you can right now it's on the software you can set a limit and then it will audibly warn you through the speaker and uh, as you know there are four LEDs those could blink and light up if you go over a certain speed limit uh, it also has a text output where it says uh, you're too fast of course that can all be changed and uh, if you're under the speed limit it says good boy uh, I do also have a GPS code for a, a dometer so you can see your trip and your current uh, distance traveled and you can also have a GPS tracker code and then save your location on the micro SD card and then upload it to Google Earth or wherever you want to to see where you were going how fast and what else uh, the GPS module gives out uh, if anybody is up to I would actually like to have all those codes combined into one code and then you could change them uh, with the navigation button so if anybody is up to that I don't have time and my coding skills are not that good so if anybody wants to give me a hand with that I can supply all the codes I have and then of course uh, I will give you something in return you can get a certain percent off of my items that I sell on Tindy or if you want if you're interested in VGage I give you a uh, good price on that so if you're interested in helping me out uh, drop me a, a line in the comments or get in touch with me you can also get in touch with me through my Tindy store and what else what else I think this was it for tonight it's as you see almost 3 o'clock in the morning 
but uh, I'm pretty happy with the frames. I was initially also thinking of uh, cutting in, cutting them out of acrylic, and but this is one millimeter thick, so you can't forget acrylic there. It will be too brittle. These are pretty sturdy. It's ABS, of course. I would not do it in PLA because that will warp in the car. And I actually printed a keychain and I threw it in my car and this summer is really hot here in Bulgaria and uh, I'm sure I had 60-70 degrees in the car and nothing happened to the ABS and if you know something about uh, filaments you know that PLA will warp so these are all printed with ABS I could even uh, offer uh, exchangeable because you can just unscrew this and since the boards are plugged together with the uh, flat cable connectors here's the board i'm working on right now which are these guys you can just plug in the cables and take them out again so that's no problem you could exchange those <coughs> oh yes and i forgot to mention that in the last video I will also offer sunshades for the V-Gage and they will not be paper of course they will be cut out of uh, 0.3 or 0.5 millimeter uh, ABS also and uh, before I thought of uh, attaching them to the, through the screws on the back but now that I have a frame they could be just screwed from the side uh, if I wanted to go fancy I could make this magnetic but uh, I don't think you're gonna put this on and off all the time so screws will be fine and it will be like a like the heads they had in the 20s and 30s so this will be an option also for this if I do get a lot of orders on uh, hopefully Indiegogo I will not build but buy a CO2 laser because building takes just too much too much time and then I could cut those out of uh, ABS sheets and uh, that would be much faster than doing it by hand if I do it by hand I will just make a metal uh, stencil and then I can cut along and the shape is pretty basic so I won't need these tabs no more it will be practically just this shape and uh, it could be easily also adjusted and uh, I think this was it if you do have any questions please ask them in the comments and uh, as of now I can take orders for the VKH just tell me what codes you would like from the ones I offer of course I cannot accommodate every um, request uh, I will still need to make a list finally of the codes I have and of course there can be also uh, it will be more as time goes by and if people want to see something else and want to add to it you can send me a code and I can upload it to the VGH before sending it out to you anyhow this was it for tonight but I kind of like this transparent one how the light shines through uh, the shift light and the GPS I explained before so this is the voltmeter you can have oil temperature water temperature whatever you want to measure uh, exhaust uh, temperature uh, I do have a code for uh, turbo PSI but I just don't like how it looks so I'm not offering that yet if you have any codes like I said you can share them I would gladly accept that and uh, that's it guys thanks for watching and have a good night and in some parts in some parts of the world good morning Anyhow, take care. Till later.